Hi, hello, the viewers of Research Hub. My name is uh, Sabrina Zhang. I'm a PhD specializing in sustainable city logistics. So this year, I just got my PhD degree from Technological University Dublin in Ireland. So six years of PhD. Uh, I think I'm uh, today I'm going to talk about the biggest challenge that I'm facing in my PhD journey and how I tackle it. So I'm thinking, you know, rather than a very specific challenge, you know, there could be personal challenge, financial challenge, external institutional challenge, or some external challenge, just like COVID, where all go, went through with it. So my challenge is um, probably a very, a little bit blurred. So uh, a feeling, a constant feeling that seems like you are always need to pushing against the wall. So by this means, I mean, is um, you always need to defend your stand, your stance in your research. So for example, you might debate with your supervisors, why are you going to use this theory? Why are you going to use this framework? Why are you going with this methods? And also sometimes you might facing even more critical challenges, intellectual challenges from your examiners in the confirmation exam and those of course in the final oral defense. And also sometimes in the academic uh, conference or when you submitting to an academic journal, you might get those uh, even more critical feedback from anonymous com uh, reviewers, you know. So you always need to defend your stance in your research. So this is a constant feeling probably I experience, not every day, but especially when I'm working on the writing. So you defend yourself in writing. So how I conquer it, I wouldn't say I already conquer it, but uh, as I'm graduate, so I'm, I'm uh, finally, I can happily to say I'm uh, away, uh, away from it for now. So uh, I think one very simple advice is you need to trust yourself. And as everybody's saying, this is your PhD. You should own your project. So by doing so, you should trust yourself. Probably after two years of your program, you should trust yourself. You are the expert in your topical area. You probably already read more literature than your supervisor, than other reviewers in your very niche topic. So you need to trust your educated decision and justify it and go with it. So this PhD project probably is one of the only project, academic project, you are going to own it 100%. So later on in your career, probably you're going to collaborate with other researchers, which is getting uh, more opinions, second opinions, which is a good thing. But since this is your own project, so make it fun and enjoyable for yourself why you use this methodology, why you want to collect those data and how you analyze it and how you present your significant contribution. So I think this is a, a very valuable uh, opportunities for you to really showcase what you want to do in this research. So sometimes uh, we might all feel quite lonely if you are doing your such like, in my case, I'm doing my own topic, which is not part of some bigger project, so it's just my own topic. So you might feel a little bit alone in the journey, solitude. So sometimes the bad news is you are on your own, but also sometimes on the other side, uh, on the brighter side, you are also on your own. You got the say for your own project and you should have the full responsibility for your project, no matter it's good or bad outcomes. So, Simple advice is be confident, be brave, be creative, and trust your gut feeling in research.